goes probably from about uh, 20 feet down to the, to the base of the body. So what we're trying to do is either get <coughs> the edges of the male terraces which have been heavily eroded and come down the top knowing that if we come down say five meters we'll pick up the edge of a void, a cave or anything of this sort or we, we try to run it around the edge that's a bit dangerous obviously but now again and we can't get it round. We've been today roping people up and down uh, holding the antenna. Ah. We've also walked around the edges of a lot of the mile and tomorrow we're going, we've rigged up a system whereby we can actually have two people holding the ropes on the antenna and lower it down from the top and the two can steady it. We hope to actually do the vertical surfaces all the way around. We should be able to do that. Uh, this is up by cave. That cave is more complex. We've done all that. We've done all that. And this is on the, the Qumran ruin itself. Uh -huh. We did the end of we did the end of it, but there's a couple of bits uh, where I was without a rope that, that uh -huh. I decided not to do. Uh -huh. um, mind you we have a, a fearless gentleman named Jim Battenfield who did some yeah. stuff today that all the rest of us closed our eyes while he was doing it. Um so, so what we've got is quite a few places where we would like to excavate and hopefully Wednesday we should be able to get the word on that. Um, the guard who's with us has, has, seems to be quite happy about all this and uh, he seems to think Wednesday he should be able to sort something out. Because what we'd obviously like to do is to uh, dig some of those things out. The other thing we're looking for is if there are any other caves then they obviously have to have an entrance and an entrance has to be on the surface. And so we're, we're running certain surfaces that look as though they might be interesting, both inside the ruins and outside the ruins. And again, we've found a couple of interesting things which we'd like to trench across and just see uh, what we're doing. Are, are those uh, other, uh, I don't really know what you call them, but those other outcrops like K4, have you already? We've, no, we've done half they're them. solid or? We're still working on that. We're still working. We've done half of them. We've only got another day left, so we should be able to clean them up. We've done most of the ones beyond K4, with, with one exception. Because the middle one there is too thin, it's too eroded. If there was anything in it, um, it would have gone. Sure. Because you've got to think that in 2,000 years, yeah. I think most of that, that stuff's gone. Cave, the, the, that's where the caves are out the end, but for some reason or another, not eroded, then that's obviously be harder. Um, but the caves must have an entrance. Because the caves south of that are, are gone now, right? Dennis was saying. Uh, yeah, well, there's the remains of caves. Yeah. Yeah. So there's some places which are automatically excluded just, just from the very nature. But we should be able to clean it up tomorrow for a bit of luck. I mean, it'll be a long day, but we should be able to manage it. And tomorrow night we'll, we'll set the equipment up and, and run it through. But it's all, it's, it's a, the difficulty with it is not only running the antennae round, I mean, it's desperately difficult to interpret because the, the screen gives a, a real-time display of, as the antenna moves, the screen shows the layers under which the antenna is passing, uh, over which the antenna is passing with the various colors depending on the amplitude of the signals as it's within the uh, different changing material. And what we're finding is, for example, we've, we seem to have disproved, but <coughs> I'm, sure it's, uh, <coughs> I'm sure it's watertight, uh, seem to have disproved the earthquake theory because DeVoe claimed that he found an earthquake crack right through Qumran. Mm. And just as we were traversing, we, we ran a couple of lights through every room there, yeah, just, just basically to see whether there was anything interesting that, that had not been picked up. And a number of things popped up. One of them was that uh, the room before the broken system, we picked up, instead of having nice flat levels on the screen, suddenly they dropped. So there was a, a displacement of the soil structure, a regular displacement something such that all the levels uh, were down. Whereas the room, the two rooms ahead had no such displacement. So whatever that displacement was, it certainly didn't go through those rooms. The cistern had it, 
and the displacement that we found matched exactly to those the part of those earthquake ones, but of course he ran the thing out, out the other end of Qumran. The other side of the system, we found displacement line 